Hi everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at the quickest and easiest way how to move from Cinema 4D into After Effects along with moving over the tracking data as well. So first let's just create a quick scene in here. Uh, dupe a few cubes and move them here. So we have this kind of scene here and we'll add a camera by clicking the camera and then we'll click into it and then we'll keyframe here and then move over to 90 frames move over this way keyframe here Let's move move front on as well with this There we are. So we have a camera swooping around a few boxes. If we add a null for the tracking data, so if we click and hold our primitive objects and select a null, and we'll move this to the top of this box. So it'll be 100 high, 100 centimeters high there. So we'll right click the null, Cinema 4D tags, external compositing. Then we'll click our render settings and just make sure the scene is for film video, HDTV, 1080, 25 frames a second. And we'll do the same if we hold Control D or Command and D on Mac and change it to 25 here as well. So frames per second are exactly the same. And then we'll save the file. Now we'll jump into After Effects and we'll right click here, Import File. And then we'll select our Cinema 4D scene and click Import. Now we'll drag this into a new comp and all we need to do is click Extract. And there we are, you'll see the null has been moved across. So if we type some text in here and we found the position of the null by selecting the null, hitting P. We'll copy this and paste it onto our text. We'll also make it a 3D layer. And now we can pick whip this to the null. And now we can move our text about and it should be tracked to the scene. And there we are, the quickest and easiest way of moving from Cinema 4D into After Effects using the tracking data. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tinny.tv. Thanks for watching.